Hello and welcome to another video for Midas Touch Toys Games Collectibles and today we are looking at something that's very very old and almost impossible to find these days. We are looking at the 1965 release by Fairylight from their Jerry Anderson Thunderbirds series of action figures. And these action figures consisted of the Tracy brothers. Um, there was also Brains, and there was also one of Lady Penelope. I'm not sure whether they did one of Parker. I, I, I've never seen one of Parker, so I'm not sure if that one they actually did that. Uh, but this particular one we're looking at today is of Virgil Tracy, who is the pilot of Thunderbird 2. Okay, now, this particular item is not in an original box. Um, sadly, uh, the original box has long since gone, but this is in a, a superb um, reproduction box, which is identical to how the original box um, looked. So it says at the front, uh, at the very top, you've got International Rescue logo, and it says, Action Thunderbirds. Fully jointed body can be put into any action position. Okay. So that's the front of the box. I'm just going to whip it around the back. And there we go. Uh, so there was one of Parker. So this is the, the series of um, dolls that were available. So you had Jeff Tracy, Scott Tracy, Virgil Tracy, John Tracy, Alan Tracy, and Gordon Tracy. And at the bottom you had Brains and Parker. Uh, but there was also one of Lady Penelope, um, which we do have a few of Lady Penelope ones in stock. So they are also available. Um, so that's the side of the, the back of the box. Sign a box, um, it says 54321, an action. And you've got International Ro um, Rescue logo at the top. But you've got Thunderbird 5, Thunderbird 4, Thunderbird 3, Thunderbird 2, Thunderbird 1. And I think it's exactly the same on the other side, yep. So that is exactly the same on the other side. Okay, so that is the box with the figure in. Um, obviously now, we're going to remove the box. Uh, remove the figure from the box, I should say. And have a good look at the action figure itself. But just before we do that, I just want to have a, show you the bottom of the box because it says on here, this is Virgil. Collect the complete series of eight models based on Jerry Anderson's TV series Thunderbirds filmed in Supermarination. Copyright 1965 AP Films Limited. Licensed by AP Films Publishing. Uh, and the top of the box says Fairy Light uh, Registered Quality Toys Empire Made. Okay, I just forgot to show you that a moment ago. So let's open the box now, take the figure out, and have a good look at him. Okay, so I've removed the figure from the box. I've, I've taken the inner, in, inner tray out because that's um, the inner packaging. So I'll just move that to one side for the moment. And there we have Virgil Tracy, um, as he's seen in Thunderbirds, and he's a pilot of Thunderbird 2. Now... Obviously, this doll is very, very old. Um, 1965, we're talking nearly 60 years old. Um, so it's not, his body is not quite as tight. I mean, these, these were very, figures were very much like the action men. Um, so they're, they're string. If I just pull the, the head up, you, oh, let's turn the head off there. You can see it's all string loaded on the inside there. Um, just very much like the... Um, action men dolls so they are they are all string held together um, and now obviously the string gets loose with age and this one is a, a little bit loose i mean it still displays excellently uh the 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 um joints are still nice and solid and he does stand he's not going to do it now but he will stand i have had him standing on his own very well yep there he is um, the hands were, were plastic, and no functionality on the hands, but obviously you've got all the movement of the arms, the shoulders, um, the head, the waist, the tops of the legs, the knees, and the feet. They all move. Um, so they're literally, um, I would say they were, they were like a, how can I put it without being rude, a cheaper version of... Uh, the action man. Um, so the, the yeah, I mean the, the the face face is just based on the puppets. Not I wouldn't say it's a great likeness of Virgil. Um, I'm having trouble keeping him standing up now. There we go. Now I wouldn't say the face is a great likeness of Virgil. Let's just zoom in uh, a little bit and have a a better look at that face. 
uh, but it's not bad at all really overall uh, considering it's 60 years old almost um the, the sculpture of the face i mean they couldn't really get it too wrong uh, because remember they were puppets at the end of the day so um but yeah it's not it's not bad at all really all things considered okay so um what else have we got so we've got the sash you can see the sash there with the international rescue badge on and these badges was a pin badge you can see at the back there um and I, I know a lot of people a lot of the kids used to take them off and put them on their own clothes to wear and so they can show that they were an international rescue agent uh also comes obviously with his uh sonic blaster and his ammo pods which are in the belt there um the only downside the hands on these very very difficult to get him to hold the gun um and, and all of the fairy light dolls were like that. They they gave you accessories, but they wasn't wasn't very good at holding them. So I, I can't actually get him to keep that in his hand. Uh, that's going to keep falling out. So uh, and the other hand, the hand just doesn't open far enough to to hold it. So that's a, a disappointment about the. Um, the hands but generally otherwise the sash is very good um, the gun is obviously exactly like they use on the tv series and of course let's just take the hat off let's just lean them up against the back there for a second and there's this thunderbirds hat with the international rescue logo on the top there um, again that's exactly as he as that was worn in the television series so let's just pop that back on his head and there we have Virgil Tracy so 12 inches is supposed to be the size and that's exactly what he is um, which is 30 centimeters if we measure uh, across his shoulders and arms we're looking at 10 centimeters across and if you measure the widest point depth wise we're looking at about five centimeters so that is the size of Mr Virgil Tracy Thunderbird 2 pilot for international rescue. So, how well do these figures do? Well, back in the day, uh, in 1965, when Thunderbirds was at the height of its popularity, the, the Thunderbirds merchandise, there wasn't a terrific amount of it around, but it really did sell back in those days. Um, every little boy in the playground, or every little girl as well, come to that, wanted a Thunderbirds um, doll or figure. Um, and at the time, Action Man was quite a big thing. So the figures were designed based on Action Man, which is why they're string bodied. Um, the so the, the there's a few things that really let it down compared to Action Man. And that's the, the hands is one thing. Um, that's the well, the main thing: the, the hands and the 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 head, um, because it's it, there's there's no real hair. It is literally just a, a, a plastic. Um, whereas Action Man, some of the Action Man have flock hair, so it would have been good if that was the case, but it, it's not, unfortunately. So compared to Action Man, it it seems to be a much cheaper doll. Um, but um, I think these were made more to be um, geared to, uh, um, and quickly made to be put out for the television series and to capture it while Thunderbird Mania was at its hype. So, yeah, it sold very well. Um, but unfortunately, due to the quality of these figures, they didn't really last. So once the string had broke um, or the heads came off or the arms come off, they were... No, no one restrung them like you can do these days. They were literally just thrown away. So, hence the reason why they are now so very, very hard to find, um, especially in this condition where it's fully complete with the hat, the gun, the cartridges, the sash, and the badge and boots. Uh, so, finding them like this almost impossible. Um, if you could find one with a box, an original box as well, my God, it would be worth a fortune. Um, but, uh, yeah, finding the box is very, very difficult. Um, and all, all the years we've been doing the vintage toys, 
Um, we've only actually ever had one in its original box, and that was a Gordon Tracy doll, which we um, we did have um, for a while, um, but obviously that's long since sold now. So finding them this condition um, in a in a um, original box is all, is pretty impossible. Finding them in this condition um, with a, recon, re, a reproduction box is also very very difficult, and obviously due to the rarity of this item we have only found this one but this particular figure it is available to purchase on the my such website and you can get to it simply by clicking the link below it takes you straight to the website where you will be able to find this and many other vintage jerry anderson items and many other vintage toys games and collectibles come to that there's over ten thousand products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure and don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody. And I am absolutely positive you are not going to want to miss this. Because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products. Which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there's something in particular you're looking for. Something old that you've never been able to find. Something quirky you might want to buy for a friend. Or maybe just something from your childhood. That you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. And believe me when I say, we have got some absolutely amazing stuff uh, coming up soon. So um, keep watching, because you won't be disappointed. The, the stuff that's coming through is pretty awesome. Okay, that is it for me on this particular item. I do hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.